hello and welcome in this video we bring to you the five major mistakes people make when buying shipping containers that you should avoid stay tuned to find out more welcome back if you love shipping container homes or you are planning on building one our youtube channel is a one-stop shop for a complete guide on how to design how to build how to insulate and a collection of hundreds of blueprints for container homes designs in addition we also cover case studies of the best homes made from shipping containers from around the world for this and more feel free to subscribe and remember to click on the bell so that you don't miss out on any of our amazing weekly videos you can also contact us on our website sheltermode.com or follow us on social media platforms through the links in the description below without further ado let's get started lately building with shipping containers is almost becoming a commonplace phenomena but before you build a shipping container home you'll need to buy the containers first the process of procuring these containers can be a tedious one depending on where and how you intend to buy them before buying any shipping container for home construction here are the five major mistakes people make that you should avoid. Number one, at number one, the container type. This is the first step of buying any shipping container. You need to know what type of shipping container you need, and it can either be a new container, a one trip container, or a used container. There are 10 types of shipping containers in use globally for various functions. But when it comes to building shipping container homes, two main types are commonly used. One, the standard container, and secondly, the high cube container. The standard container is the most common type and it comes in both 20 foot and 40 foot dimensions. On the other hand, high cube containers come in the same dimensions as their standard counterparts except that they are a foot taller at 9 feet. This is the most preferred type for building container homes because of the additional foot that gives you more height for ceiling and floor insulation without compromising the headroom of your home. The second critical item is container inspection. This is the most critical aspect of buying any shipping container for building a home, especially if it's not a new container. It is advisable to inspect the container in person by examining it thoroughly before purchase. Check the container roof and bottom, floor and ceiling, and also the doors and the locking gear. Also do a smell test of the container for mold and toxic spills. If you are buying the container online or remotely, request for photos and a written or oral inspection report of the shipping container. Specify that you want high quality photos of all the size of the container inside and out the third item to consider is delivery options after buying your shipping container to deliver it on site is another challenge transport costs can be high depending on the distance most online purchases do not include delivery costs on their prices you are therefore encouraged to ask the seller if they will deliver the container and how much delivery cost would be. Find out if the seller will deliver it by a tilt bed trailer, which will allow you 
to position the container where you want it or by a flatbed truck which will require a forklift or a crane to unload the container to site. In addition, also find out if you'll need a license to operate either piece of equipment. Try buying from a local company whenever possible to avoid high delivery costs. The fourth item you need to consider is the container manufacturer. As much as most containers are manufactured in China, they are not made by a single manufacturer. When buying shipping containers, it's advisable to buy them all from the same manufacturer. This is very important because manufacturers use different measurement tolerances when making the containers. Hence, the slight variations could make working with different brand of shipping containers difficult, especially when it comes to stacking or joining them together. In addition, buying a given brand of containers from a single supplier will streamline the buying process including negotiating for a warranty for your shipping containers. Not all manufacturers make their containers from the same materials. You are encouraged to look for containers made from cotton steel since these ones are made from weathering steel which will last the longest and will stand up to inclement weather and on-site rust. Last but not least, the fifth and important item you need to consider is the container identification code on your shipping container. Every shipping container used for shipping has a CS plate or a container safe convention plate attached on the door. Ensure the shipping container's unique identification number plate is intact before buying. The main purpose of the CS plate is for shipping, so for the retail buyer, there is little need or meaning for the plate. However, it does tell some of the interesting information about the specific shipping container. This may help the new owner to track the manufacturer by making sure some shipping company does not own the container you intend to buy. This is easily determined by writing down the number. Come again. This is easily determined by writing down the container number and calling the owner. The plate will also indicate the timber or the wood flooring fumigation details which may help you identify the best flow finish method or treatment for your shipping container depending on the type of pesticide that was used to treat the original plywood flow. With all this information at hand, we hope you found it exhaustive and informative enough to help you with the process of buying your shipping containers for your dream home project. If you feel we have left out anything, kindly let us know by posting in the comments section below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. Remember to subscribe for our weekly videos on shipping container homes and design ideas. See you in the next video.